So you'd like to stop duffing your chip shots and haven't been able to successfully change your technique. Is this horrendous looking golf club the cure? So this is the P3 Faro Wedge from Pyramid Golf. See what they're trying to do there. Manufactured and shipped from Egypt. It's not really. And this wedge has three big claims. First of all, it's versatile enough to play any shot within 70 yards of the green. It can be used by any level of golfer from absolute chopper to elite professional. <laughs> That's not me. But thirdly, and most importantly, this is duff proof. Can't fat it, can't chunk it, only hit good chip shots. We'll get into the ins and outs of this wedge, the unique design and the way that it performs. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're pushing towards half a million followers here on YouTube. Would love your help to reach that milestone. So hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon as well. Get down into those comments. Let us know what you think about this wedge. And if I knock this within four feet, you've got to hit that like button. It's a big four feet. Hit the like button. <laughs> I have to have some big feet. I have to have some big feet for that. So I've already done some testing on this wedge this morning. I've been hitting shots from all around the green, just trying to test out some of these claims and actually see if any of them are true, because that's where we have to start. This wedge is produced <laughs> by the same people who brought you the pyramid putter, which apparently has an axis to correct off-center strikes. Also the F2 wedge, the unshankable wedge. In other words, the producers of this club have a propensity to have a whiff of snake oil about them. However, early testing of this has been surprising. The first thing we're gonna chat about here is the price, $119 plus shipping. Now that's not cheap, that like puts it in the premium wedge category. And when you look at this wedge, it is not a premium look, it looks disgusting. I have not eaten any breakfast this morning, but if I did, it would be covering my shoes in cornflakes. It's not that bad, but it, it, you get what I mean. I, you get what I mean, Kieran, don't you? Like you're in its presence. It's not, it's not great. It's not great. It's what happens when you take a name, pyramid, make a pyramid shape, and then really amp up the pyramid thing. But they do offer a 30 day money back guarantee. They say you are guaranteed to see a measurable improvement in your game and if not, send it back. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to test it and if I don't like it, I'm going to send it back. Does anyone actually send stuff back? Like, I don't think they do, do they? I really don't think they do. So first of all, let's talk about the design of this club because there are quite a few unique features. First of all, the lie angle is quite upright now a lot of people say that if you want a bit more of a consistent strike around the green you should grip the club a little bit more through your palm stand quite upright almost feel like the toe is in the ground now this wedge is designed so it's actually a really upright lie angle to begin with now i don't actually mind that i think it's a good general idea of course that doesn't excuse the rest of this monstrosity, but if it works, it works. Now there are a couple of different loft options. I've got the 50 degree here. And as I look down on the 50 painted on the bottom of this wedge, you cannot help but be drawn into the little pyramids all along the sole of the golf club. Now what these pyramids are meant to do is as you come through the ball, they're meant to glide across the surface. And even if you hit the ball slightly behind, it's gonna get it moving and down towards the target. It's pretty consistent to be fair. Now, normally I like any club which has been murdered out in this beautiful black finish. However, <laughs> it's gonna take something more to make this club look more appetizing. And even if you look at the face here, you can see the scratches, which are already starting to appear. I've hit some bunker shots just to test it out the sand. And yeah, that's 
that's not great. I mean, that's literally five shots and it's like five scars all across the face. I can't think of any reason for making it this triangular pyramid shape apart from the name. There's literally no reason for that. So yeah, that's Mingin. But of course, this isn't a club which is designed to be the best looking. It's designed to be chunk proof. One thing which I do really like about this is the weight of this club. And I don't know if it's because of the lightness in the shaft, something they've done to the grip. This club feels absolutely laden with weight. It feels like it's made of lead. It really does. And the idea of that is as you come through impact, if there's a big heavy weight at the end of the shaft, it will help the club flow through impact a little bit more. So stop that kind of digging and flinching at the point of impact. So let's test out some of these claims. Apparently from 70 yards and in, this club is versatile enough to play every single shot. So we start here in the bunker. This is a 50 degree wedge. So I'm not expecting miracles here, but in the testing I did before, I was pleasantly surprised. The fact is these little pyramids on the bottom of the club, these guides, they act as the bounce angle. An exaggerated amped up on Egyptian steroids version of a bounce angle. And having guides on the bottom of the club, that's not exactly a new idea. This has been done in the past by some of the major manufacturers. If you remember the Cobra Baffler, the three wood which has the rails on the bottom for this exact thing to help it glide through turf and through sand. And to be honest with you, like the shots that I hit, I mean that it go in straight up. This is easier to get out of the bunker than my 50 degree wedge. When it goes in, it does just like properly like glide through. I've got to give it its dues out of the bunker for a 50 degree wedge. You know what? It, it's all right. So on a standard basic chip shot like this, actually it's not been too bad. So ball position just off the back foot, hands slightly ahead. That upright lion goal, it kind of draws you a bit closer to the ball and just rocking those shoulders back and through. Ball pops up. It actually feels all right. It does feel very, very repeatable. I wouldn't say it feels nice. It feels okay. A little bit firm, a little bit clicky. Ball position center. So it's going to fly it a little bit further. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like I'm going to get any spin. And certainly with some of the shots that I've seen so far today, it comes off quite dead. And now if you're going to be using it for just purely chip and runs, that's not an issue. You want it to be rolling along the ground. If you want a wedge that you're going to be able to get lots of spin and like, I mean, that was me trying to open up the club there. And this is not a club that you can open up. You really, really really can't it's a straight faced chip and run thing this is what this club is designed for so you ain't going to be able to whack it out on a flop shot so 70 yards um listen i know for a fact that this club it ain't going to be as spinny as my vokey and actually coming off him oh i mean look at it go look at it run out it's the same with the chip shots it feels quite firm um but it does take off on the line, it is a pretty accurate club. That's what it feels like. Maybe that's just a lie angle. The weight of the head coming through impact, that's also actually really nice. Those are the two big positives for me straight away. The lie angle gets you closer. I can understand that. The weight of the head as it comes through, I can understand that. The fins on the bottom of the club, that's been done before. I can understand that. But the question is, is it as a package? all that it claims to be and quite frankly is it going to be out what about is it going to be able to do the biggest most controversial claim is this wedge duff proof i'm going to say no we've got to test it now guys if you're chunking your wedges what is happening is you're coming into impact the leading edge of the club is hitting the ground before the ball it's digging in and then you have that chunk fat duff whatever you want to call it. Now the pyramids on the bottom of this club, what they're meant to do is as it approaches impact, it's meant to help the club glide across the surface and not dig. Now, fortunately, the leading edge of this club is very sharp. There's not much of a camber from that leading edge to the sole. So what that means, get away onto a little bit of rough patch here, is if you can get the club kind of like passing your hands and skidding, that's absolutely fine. And it'll actually do what it says. But as soon as those hands get ahead and it starts to get steep, it is still going to dig. Like, or, or is it? 
Let's test it out. So we're going to get the hands massively ahead. I'm going to hit the ground before the ball. Hmm, kind of jump popped into it, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, that was a fat. <laughs> you know what, fair play. That kind of hit quite a long way before the ball. It still managed to get into impact. Maybe not completely full of lies. So I've got my Voki out now, 50 degrees, same loft. And it looks in remarkably good condition compared to the Pyramid. I've had this for a year. And the black finish is starting to wear off in places, but I'm not scratching up as much as the Faro wedge. And obviously this is more of a standard wedge design. I can feel straight away. It is literally coming out about a thousand times softer, which means I can be a little bit more aggressive. The head is lighter. And would I say I actually prefer the feel of the ferro weight through impact? There's something to be said about that. Trying to give it a duff. Yeah. There's no doubt that a duff with this 50 degree Vokey, well, I'll say that, that's best. That's fact. One of my best ones of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that was so far before the ball, but it still bounced in. Bear in mind. So you can see the bottom of these two wedges side by side. Now on the right hand side, you got the pyramid with those little runners. You can see how that would work as the bounce angle. Then you've also got the 50 degree here. Now this is an F grind at 12 degrees, and you can see how it cambers from the leading edge to the bottom of the sole, and that's called the bounce angle. Now, the whole reason that a bounce angle is on a wedge is that as it comes into impact, it doesn't dig, it glides. That is effectively what these rails are doing. The differences for me really come with the weight and just how upright the club is. And it does pop up down to the target really easily. I am not dismissing this as a bad club. Yes, it's a gimmicky club. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. It's called the pyramid wedge. It's got a pyramid shape and it's got pyramids on the bottom of the club for God's sake. Yes, it's a gimmicky club. But the way it sits, upright, not the way it looks, the weight of it, I can see how this would give a lot of golfers quite a bit of confidence around the greens. But maybe, possibly, and most likely, if you are a player who duffs chips around the green, potentially, even though I don't want to break this to you, it could be more to do with technique and not to do with the club. And I think everybody watching this is mature enough to understand that just by getting a golf club, you're not going to fix problems with your game. So would I be sending this club back in the 30 day back money back guarantee back? No, no, I wouldn't, even though most golfers, if they're chunky shots around the green, you know, they've got underlying problems that can't be fixed with a pyramid shaped bandage. A lot of what this club does, the lie angle, the weight, yes, this aggressive bounce caused by the pyramids on the bottom, ignore the disgusting shape. And I can see how a lot of golfers around the green would actually set this club up and think, you know what, I've got a little bit more confidence. It's not a club that I think is any better than, say, a Voki on pitch shots, certainly from longer out. But I can see this being decent around the greens, and I was very surprised at what it was like out of a bunker. So I would sum up and review this club by explaining, yes, it's a gimmicky design. It's a gimmicky club. But it's a gimmicky club with teeth, pharaoh pyramid shaped teeth and like the f2 wedge that they brought out the unshankable wedge it kind of does what it says but doesn't cover up the fact that if you're duffing chips guys it's down to you it's not down to your clubs Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and you are struggling with duffing around the green, please check out this video. This will help you to stop those fats and those thins from around the putting surface.